Hello everybody, we are back in a thunderstorm and we are looking at this thing. So today we're going to do a few things um, of which I'll get into in a second but if you're not subscribed already please make sure to do so. It really does help me out and you get to see more of this and she won't die and um, there's going to be more stuff coming. Drop a comment below on any tips that you have for or any memories of these things, these lovely Mark III Cortinas because obviously I'm a bit of a spring chicken and let me know your thoughts on the project below. So without further ado, or whatever that means, let's get into the video. So this is my before situation. It's a bit rusty and it looks a bit crap. Um, the wiring's supposed to go right through these two, so one, or two, three, and number four is in there somewhere. So the plan is, sort that out, get it looking a bit nicer, and yeah, then I can uh, just quickly spray it over and make it look semi-decent. Also, there's there where all the coolant has leaked. Fairly easy, strip that all off, get it all painted. Another thing I've done, I've removed the brake hoses. I'll show you these. I'm not gonna be buying Goodridge again because quite frankly, they're not very good. That really annoys me. So I bought some new, um, some new Quinton Hazel ones and I'm gonna fit those a bit better than I fit the Goodridge ones. We're belting out a storm at the minute. So let's get to it. I wish you could hear this. I'm not going to keep making a big deal out of it. It is absolutely stonking it down. Hey, what a cosy atmosphere, eh? Get some music on and get to work. Put that in the background. So that, I'm afraid, is as good as I can get it. It is flat, though. Ish. It's a bit sad, really. It's just been coated in crap. So, yeah, but there's no rust on it, really, so... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna slap some of it on it. Well, I'll try to. Depends what it looks like. See if we can just get it a bit cleaner than that. Two plates spinning at the minute. We're revealing our VIN because somebody sprayed over it that many times. It was, you know, unfathomable. And we are going to remove the thermostat housing so we can have a look at the, well, change the thermostat and see if we can clean this up because it looks a mess. So let's get to that. Two 13 mils on here, whiz them off. Let's go. So we have now uncovered VIN. Thank God that hasn't rusted away. Anybody know what that top letter means? That one there? My very incredibly oily finger. That's drying, which is excellent. I've taken this off, the thermostat housing. Thermostat is held in with like some tiny clip. You can see the thermostat there. That looks absolutely gross. It looks like it's been pulled out of someone's bum. Um, this I thought was fine. I thought, oh yeah, I'll clean it up, cool. It's kind of flaky a bit, but then I realized it is cracked. So now I need another one, which is absolutely fantastic. Other than that though, she's going, going very well. Um, very glad that the VIN's sort of surviving. The car's not a rust bucket, so, you know, I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. Um, and I think I might call it a day in a second. The rain is slowing down, which is nice. Yeah, it's a, been, a, been a productive one as well. So, I'll see you in the next one. I've seen some intriguing bathroom ceiling. You can see a big glob of it down there. So, I think we're going to take this wing off and have a... Um, have a good look. I'm glad that bolt was so forgiving. Um, have a good look and see what is what with this wing. Hello everybody, and I come back with some goodies. So let's get to it and I'll show you what I got from Sheffield Cortina Centre. The man with the the man with the Cortinas, the legend himself. So I got top hose, thermostat to radiator, the little elbow. So that's a new one of those I've got. Stick that in there. We have a new fan blade, and it's a Ford original. So we're, we're yellow fanned once we get that on. You never realize how small these fan blades are until you, you actually take them off. Fan blade. We are new thermostat housing, which is great. No, no cracks in that one. Bottom radiator hose, which is great because ours are perished as oat. 
and we also have oh that's it oh this doohickey so i'll show you where this goes so i don't want to put radio in this car i think we're just going to go all you know bluetooth so this basically you've got to just bend this in like that yes you've got to sort of figure out what i'm doing In. like that sort of so that blanks all that off so yeah that looks pretty cool so i was talking to him about our drain hole issue as well so what he says and what i thought as well was a great idea since they're not particularly bad i was thinking treating the rust i mean this one it hasn't even gone yet so that's fine it hasn't gone what i'm thinking about on this other side is there seems to be an issue with these cars where they don't drain properly so, as you can imagine, the water runs down here, it sits in there, and that's how you get all that dirt. So, I was thinking, that side, I drill a little hole, and this side, I potentially drill a little hole. Let me know what you think. I'm going to give you guys a bit of the benefit of the doubt before I get cracking on with it. Um, and also, what do you guys think about putting one of them little panel filters on here? The little metal-style ones that sort of, it's like a pancake-looking thing. Or sticking the original, wherever the hell it is on instead so without further delay we'll finish off this side and get this nice and tidied up and then we'll go from there so there's that looking a lot better all tidied up um next step as you can see i've covered some of the we had a bit of a rust issue there which well a little patch of surface rust which i've sorted out just going to be stripping some of this back getting rid of the dirt and everything and then sorting that out but you can see uh, this is where our lovely hole is also a bit of surface there, so I want to sort that out before we go anywhere. I'm not going to recover any more of this. I'm just going to leave it from probably about here backwards, because I just don't want it to be an absolute mess. And up here as well, it's a bit crusty, so I'll just see what wire wheeling does to that, and we'll go from there. But yeah, looking good so far. That rear subframe is nearly completely covered in it uh, and clean, as you saw yesterday. So we'll keep going and we'll get into that. The other thing I'm probably going to do in this video, maybe, is sort of start pulling this loom apart. I've got some electrical tape, which I'm going to sort of recover it with. And then obviously sorting all the earth points and everything out. But yeah, we're off to a cracking start already, which is great. And there we go. One fan. As you know, it's a critical component in this car. It pulls, it's what pulls it along. So, <laughs> so... Yeah, we've lost one fan blade there, one fan blade there, a bit of one there, and we wondered why it was uh, looking a bit terrible. <laughs> so yeah, we've got our old fan off. Is it an original Ford fan? It doesn't look it. Could be, could not be. Let me know in the comments, but we'll stick you there. Five-star fan, it kind of looks like Patrick from Spongebob. Um, this fan, just want to see if it fits. Should do without any modification. Yep, straight over. Just needs to be screwed in and cleaned up. But yeah, that looks a whole lot better. So we'll clean that up um, from this. And we'll do like an edit to this. To this. Yeah, that was some cool editing, I guess. I bet it looked terrible. But yeah, I've cleaned the fan up, sort of. She won't be going on for a bit anyway. Okay, so next step for me is getting this bottom hose off. And then we can sort of see what the lay of the land is at the bottom of here. But so far, this ain't looking too promising. As you can see, it's all um, a bit of a mess. Stop having to loosen this. I mean, this hose is crusty, so it needs to go anyway. I've got my two new ones up there. So, yeah, I think I'm just kind of... I don't know what I need to do with this. Just get it off. But it's stuck tight on there. Keep winding it off. Oh, you'll join me when it's off. And there we have it. Look inside of that. That's a mess. <clears throat> we shan't be using that again. Oh, we've got it off. It's time, really, to figure out what we're doing with all this water pump and everything. Are we cleaning it? Are we not? 
I think we should take this off and clean it. Don't you? That's so satisfying to see how much. It's like them games on um, uh, Eureka, I think it is. The science place where you make the water flow. <laughs> I'll stop doing with that now <laughs> and I'll just get on with it. But yeah, inside of there's a mess as well. I mean, gosh damn. Anyone has any recommendations on how to flush that, let me know. I've tried cool and flushing everything, but no dice. Um, I think it's just literally because of how bad everything's been. So yeah, I'll, I'll get this thing off. It's literally just that bolt there, that bolt there, and then a bigger one in here. And then that should just come straight off. Then a spinner obtained and more water coming out. So that's pretty cool. So we're pretty, you can see, we're at the cylinder. Obviously one's up and down, that's interesting. Not really much else there. Well, yeah, we've got the spinner out. It's one of these metal type ones, so it's not, you know, like the newer cars where it's all plastic crap. So I'm gonna clean this sucker up. Same with the uh, donated thermostat housing. I mean, if you look at these two, this is obviously what it currently has had this is a mess that is okay it's salvageable this one is okay and salvageable so i'm going to clean these both up and then yeah we'll be able to put them back on i don't think so in this video though i think we're more of a disassembling ripping things to pieces sort of video today um but yeah it's pretty easy to get it off i just need to get some um gaskets for here because yeah we're gasketless and I don't fancy running gasketless and causing the same issue again. I'm going to do the timing belt as well. I reckon so. I've got a timing belt. So this tensioner is the original Ford tensioner. Don't ask me why I think that's significant. I just think it is. I don't think I'm going to do the powder coating yet. I'm going to hold off on that because that's sort of the more dressy stuff. We just want to get it nice mechanically. Now, got some more bits that we can clean up as well. Now that we've got all this space free... Um, on the front as well cleaned up my fan so yeah that's pretty cool so we'll we'll keep going and i'll start cleaning all the other stuff up as you can see there my friends two very well clean sort of specimens they're all right i don't want to take too much off i'm gonna obviously have to run a bit of water out of them but if you look at all the dust and stuff that's come out of them the lime scale it's pretty bad yeah nicely cleaned looking good so I think the next step really is yeah you're just gonna have to keep cleaning things up and slowly going through it obviously this front bit i mean we're still still having water dribble out to the concoction i've made god knows what substance that is it's like um when a nuclear reactor melts down and i think it's graphite and uranium or something fused and it becomes corium this is um cortinium down there <laughs> God knows what that substance is. It is absolutely. If um, bloody hell, they'd, they'd build a sarcophagus over this garage. <laughs> if somebody, if this got out of there, that container. Oh God, that is absolutely vile. I think it's be, it's become sentient as well. Paul Goodridge. Yeah. So I think we are on track and if you were to put that on there now i mean if we just show you what it looks like when it's on obviously we're gonna have to clean it up and get a new gasket but oh god i can't whoops i not put it back on <laughs> yeah it looks something like uh uh oh yeah it looks it looks like this yeah that looks nice Stick you there. Of course, I've got a new thermostat for this here thing. So it'll look a damn le sight less uh, dead. I think it goes like this. I could be wrong. It could go like this. Nobody really knows. Only Google Images now. And I'm not going to Google it. <laughs> Just for um, a bit of fun. Got your um, watch me who's it, your spinny wheel thing that goes over the belt. Look obviously allows the belt to drive the water pump and the um ninja throwing star the very blunt ninja throwing star that goes on top of that that's on there that's on there get your 13 mil bolts that go all around it and your fan goes over the top so um i think it's probably time to see if we can change the timing belt am i going to do it this video we will see 
So that is it, everybody. I think I'm going to do the timing belt and everything in the next video. But just a quick recap of what we've accomplished. We've taken the water pump and the thermostat housing and all that stuff off. We've sorted out the paint on this front valance here. We've sorted out this over here so you can actually see the VIN. We've started to pull the wiring loom back and make that, well, make try to make sense of it at least. We've got a few bits and we've cleaned up all underneath here and found out there's not that much rust on this bit. Um, so all of this is more or less sound. It's just getting all this as it should be. So I'm going to sort of let put these two in something and sort of let them soak a bit. And then in the next one, we're going to take, we're going to do the timing belt and we're going to put everything else back together once we've cleaned up the front of the block. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. Keep watching. Remember to subscribe for more of this. Another episode next week because I film these on Sundays. And yeah, thanks for watching. Keep watching. Remember to subscribe.